Whenever possible, I like to reuse and repurpose things that would otherwise end up in the garbage. I found this old umbrella that was discarded on the beach and so irresponsibly left to go back to nature. I decided it was strong and light enough to use as a kayak sail, so I made a mast and a centerboard. Using a steering oar, I was able to effectively sail into the wind. After checking the forecast for the right conditions, it was a good day to try my new sail. And as the wind died down on my return trip, I decided to float with the current and soak up my scenes and surroundings. So when I go ahead and raise this sail, all I do is and then I'll go down through this eyelet right here and then I'll go back up to this grommet and that's your down hole. Pull that down and that keeps the sail Nice and tight. That. And then I'll tie that off. That way if I need to, I can undo it in the water. What I did was put a screw through and a washer through the very center of this lid. It's a pretty big washer. And there's no boom, so you can let this out. This flaps by your head, it's not a problem. My head is about here and this thing can go by. As I switch sides and tack. For this centerboard setup, what I found out is that you want the centerboard pulled forward a little bit because if it's pulling this way, it pulls it back a little bit. You don't want that. So, what I found out is you want to go to the front of the boat with one bungee, and then the other bungee can go. More, more straight, something like that. Then my mass step is a whole other issue. That's, I just kind of made a cross on the bottom. This runs under the seat. It's a one by four. That's a one by four. And then I've got a little mast step. So this kayak is called the Eagle Run 12. So it's pretty cool. I like the shape of it a lot. It's real sharp in the front. It's got a nice, Sharp front. It's, it's real stable, but it paddles. You can surf waves with it too. It's a pretty cool kayak.